Turkish Prime Minister, Binary Yildirim is among a host of leaders who are furious that Mr. Trump is expected to recognize Jerusalem, rather than Tel Aviv, as the Israeli capital in a speech in Washington, later today. Mr. Yildirim warned that the move could spark a holy war and make their problems unresolvable in the region. He said that it was vital for the Middle East and for global peace that the U.S. president not make such an announcement later today. But Mr. Trump appears to be pressing ahead with the significant U.S. policy change to defy the Arab world, amid further plans to move the U.S. embassy there. Getty Mr. Trump risks sparking a religious war in the Middle East Turkish leader Binary Yildirim warns. Related articles North Korea could nuke UK in one year, warns top retired General Macron urges Iran and Israel to work together to reduce tensions. U.S. officials said that he had instructed the State Department to begin the process of moving the American embassy from Tel Aviv to the Holy City, a move that could cause chaos in the Middle East. Iran's Supreme Leader, Ali Khamenei, expressed his anger over the decision to move the U.S. embassy to Jerusalem, saying it would be a sign of incompetence and failure. Pope Francis also urged Mr. Trump not to make the declaration about Jerusalem, as it was vital to recognize the rights of all people, in the Holy Land to continue dialogue. Jerusalem is sacred to Christians, Jews and Muslims and is a contentious part of Israel-Palestinian negotiations. Getty Iran's Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei, expressed his anger over the decision to move the U.S. Embassy. Following the 1967 Middle East War, Israel declared Jerusalem as its capital. But the claim is not recognized by the international community or Palestinians. And, Palestinians maintain that Jerusalem will be the capital of their future state. The Palestinians chief representative to Britain, Manuel Hassashin, blasted Mr. Trump ahead of the decision to move the U.S. embassy. He told the BBC, if he says what he is intending to say about Jerusalem being the capital of Israel, it means a kiss of death to the two state solution. He is declaring war in the Middle East, he is declaring war against 1.5 billion Muslims, and, hundreds of millions of Christians that are not going to accept the holy shrines to be totally under the hegemony of Israel. Getty Manuel Hassashin, blasted Mr. Trump ahead of the decision to move the embassy. Turkish Foreign Minister, Mevlut Cavusoglu also joined the chorus of condemnation against Mr. Trump saying he viewed it as illegal. He told CNBC, Israel is trying to normalize relations with other Muslim countries, so it will not serve Israel well. I hope there will be no such decision by President Trump. This can go as far as severing Turkey's ties with Israel. I am warning the United States not to take such a step which will deepen the problems in the region. We have to warn the United States that such a decision will be against the UN resolutions and international law and international agreements. Britain's Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson, also raised the alarm, he said this morning, let's wait and see what the president says exactly. But we view the reports that we've heard with concern. We think Jerusalem should be part of the final settlement between the Palestinians and Israelis.
Related articles Saudi Arabia tried to trap the U.S. into bombing Iran Israel target Syria military with missile attack terror police on high alert as Trump announces Jerusalem as capital.